Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your SQL Server database on a schedule. Okay, so I have SQL Server Management Studio open here and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to come down to my SQL Server agent and I'm going to start this agent. Okay, so we should hopefully see this beginning to start here now. So now that that's started, what I like to do next when I'm doing this on a new server is to go to our services. So we can see we have the SQL Server agent here and it's set to manual. So I right click the SQL Server agent, click properties, and I change this to start automatically. Basically this means if you reboot your server, your SQL Server agent job will start on boot and your backup jobs will still run. So now that I'm happy with that, I want to click apply and I'm going to click OK. OK, let me minimize this here. OK, so in my databases, I have this Northwind database that I want to back up on a schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to management and just expand, expand the menu here. And I am going to go to maintenance plans and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select maintenance plan wizard. Perfect, so I'm going to click next here, and I'm going to call this backup plan. Okay, and I want to leave it to run as the SQL Server agent account, and I'm going to click change here, and I am going to change this to daily, and I'm going to say let's run this at 9 o'clock every night, with no end date, and we'll click OK on this. Okay, perfect, let's click next here. And we're going to click to back up the database full. So take a full copy of the database nightly. Let's click next. We'll click next again. Okay, so we have a few options here. So first things first, let's select the database that we want to back up. So I'm going to take Northwind and I'm going to click OK. Perfect. So let's go to our destination path now. And I'm going to move this from the default into a folder which I created called SQL Backups. If you're doing this on a server, you can back it up to another disk or you can arrange to back it up to your C drive and then have a script that moves it elsewhere later. So for the time being, I'm just going to back this up to the SQL Backups folder that I've created. Perfect. I'm going to leave it as a dot back and let's just check our options here. And we'll just leave it all as is and we'll click next. And we're going to write a report text file. So let's just put that report in with our SQL backups as well. And we'll click next and then we'll click finish. OK, so this looks like it's going to work for us here. So I might just pause the video while we're waiting. OK, we're back and we can see that it's run successfully for us. So let's click close here. So if I open my maintenance plan, I can see I have a backup plan. So let me just execute this now. Okay, so this is executing, and while it's doing it, I'll just pause the video again. Okay, we can see this has run successfully, so if I click close here, perfect, and I can see my backup file has been created. So that will run every night at nine o'clock and back up your database. Now, what I usually do now is I create another maintenance plan. So we'll do that now. So I go in and I want to click new maintenance plan wizard. I'll click next. And we're going to call this clean up to clean up those old .back files. So let's change this to be on a schedule. So we'll say nightly again. And let's run this at 10 o'clock. So an hour after our backup job is run. So I'm going to click OK and we'll click next here. Now we're going to select maintenance cleanup task. OK and then next, next again. OK, so what do we want to do? We want to delete backup files. That's perfect. So let's go into that folder that we made earlier, the SQL backups one. Perfect. And we're going to delete. Now it's very important that you don't put the dot, you just put in back. So we're going to look in that folder for any old back file and delete it. And I just want one week of backups to have so I can go back one week if there's an issue with the database. 
So I'm going to click next. And you know what? We'll pop the report in here as well, just to keep it all together. And then click next. And then click finish. Okay, so we can see this is done. So we now have our two plans. We have our backup plan, which will back up the database nightly at nine o'clock to file. And then we have our cleanup plan that will run every night and delete any database that is older than one week. If you encounter any issues while following this tutorial, be sure to comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. Thanks for watching.